Mobile devices often have slower internet connections and many data plans impose a limit on the amount of bandwidth that can be used without incurring extra charges, so it's important to prevent assets from being downloaded unnecessarily. For example, embedded fonts take up bandwidth and don't always look very good on mobile devices, so it's a good idea to hide them from phones and tablets. So I'm going to open the original style sheet, which serves basic styles to all devices, including mobile devices. I'm going to select the at font face rule and cut it to my clipboard, Control X on Windows, Command X on a Mac, and switch to the desktop CSS style sheet and paste that font face a rule in there. Looking at the site-wide media queries file, you can see that desktop CSS has a media query that ensures that those styles are served only to devices which have a minimum width of 769 pixels. So in other words, they won't be seen by mobile phones or most tablet devices. Another important consideration is what to do with background images. Simply setting the display property of a background image to none only hides it. It doesn't prevent the image from being downloaded. So if you're using a different size background image for mobile devices or none at all, you need to create separate definitions and use media queries to ensure that the correct version is served to each device depending on its screen width. For example, this image of the hotel is a background image and I'm going to use a different size background image for tablets and not display it at all on mobile phones. So I need to have the style rule for the background image for this particular page, one in the desktop, another one in tablet, and then none at all in the style sheet for mobile phones. Also the background image to the banner at the top here, I'm going to use different sizes for desktop, tablet and mobile phone. So let's go into the basic style sheet and look for the background image definitions. Here's the background image for the banner. So I need to cut that to my clipboard and go to the desktop style sheet. Now the background image was in the wrapper style rule, so I need to create another wrapper style rule here in desktop CSS and paste the details of the background image. And you can see that the background image has disappeared in design view. That's because we're using media queries and because design view is narrower than 769 pixels. If I expand design view, it comes back. So you can now see the media queries in action. Now the background image for the hotel is in a style rule which is called Hero. So there it is, background image. Cut it to my clipboard, go to the desktop style sheet and again create a new style rule for Hero in desktop. CSS, paste it, and again you can see that the image has now disappeared, expanded again and it comes back. So Dreamweaver's design view is reacting dynamically to the changes in the style sheets because I'm using media queries. Let's go back into the basic style sheet and check for more background images. Now there's a background image here in the dining style rule, but I'm going to use the same image in all devices, so I don't need to move that one. Now this next rule has got a background image, the sake rule, but I'm not only going to have a different image in the tablet layout, the complete layout is different in the tablet, and it won't be there at all in the design for mobile phones. So I'm going to cut this entire style rule and paste it as it is in the desktop style sheet. And let's just check the main style sheet again. In the next style rule there is a background image for Blossom, but it's a very tiny image, it's only 8 kilobytes, it's purely decorative and it's actually used in all layouts, so you can leave this style rule as it is. So just go to save, 
and save all related files, the fonts and background images have now been reorganised so that mobile devices won't download any assets they don't need.